everybody a very happy migration year so the 1st of july marks the beginning of the migration year 2425 what does that mean that essentially means that everything was going to go in for a reset now what are the things that have changed from today onwards and what are the things that have pleasantly not changed so the first thing that has changed is a slight increment in the department of home affairs visa application fee so for subclass 189 it has gone up from 4640 australian dollars to 4765 australian dollars and for subclass 190 and 491 it has gone up from dollars 4640 to 4770 now there's only a difference of 5 dollars but uh, i find that a little strange because the uh, visa application charge for subclass 189 190 and 491 always remained the same so i'm not able to quite understand why there is a difference of just additional 5 dollars for 190 and 491 anyways it doesn't really matter now what has not changed and when i say what has not changed pleasantly why do i say so what has not changed is the point system so since there was a lot of discussion around the change in the point system and i did discuss in some of my previous uh, videos that we do see a change in the point system coming but the point system has not been finalized yet and it does not look like that the point system would be changing at least before 2026 so as of now anybody who's planning to apply for skill migration to australia should go by the current point system now what has also not changed is the occupation list so every year around june a lot of applicants literally hold on uh, and you know refrain from applying because they kind of afraid or have they they have this paranoia that which i would also say is uh, kind of um, well placed that maybe you know there's a change in the occupation list and a occupation happens to be removed from the list of eligible occupations so i'm glad to tell you that no occupation has been removed the occupation list that is the mlc ssl the st sol and the rol remain as it is there's absolutely no change in that now with all this in place what can we expect so what we are going to expect now is one we are now going to expect the visa grants or let's say the visa decisions to start coming in very very soon two now we expect the dha to allocate the quota to the states now it's it's a huge task you know um, the states are very very competitive uh, with each other each state wants a you know a, a large share of the uh, quota so the dha is going to decide as to which state gets how many places for a 190 or for a 491 nomination and once they're done with allocating the quota which could happen in a week's time which could happen in 15 days time which could happen by the end of july or whenever the states will start sending out invitations for nominations now there are two ways that you could be getting a nomination one is when a state sends out an invitation to you to apply for a nomination be it a 190 or a 491 nomination and then you have for 14 days to put up your application for a nomination alternatively there could also be a pathway which is known as a direct application pathway such as uh, what uh, nsw adopted in the year 2022 23 wherein the a certain occupation list will be um, published on their website on the state's website followed by the criteria and anybody and everybody who fits in the criteria is free to go ahead and start and go ahead and lodge the application so now we will just need to wait and see how it pans out 
if you are somebody who still does not have a skills assessment this may be your last chance to go ahead go ahead with the priority processing and get a skills assessment because i see no reason why there should be any delay in the nominations to be rolled out because the like migration plan for 24 25 has already been rolled out and things look pretty much in place for the migration to start for the year 24 25 so that will be it for today if you have any questions please feel free to give us a call on 7849878498 7849878 or email us on inquiries@canwings.com and we will be happy to get back to you until next time bye bye and take care